Time to check in uh, with Ozzy Jurek to talk real estate. He's in our warm suite at the Sheraton Wall Center to talk about a hot real estate uh, month of May, Ozzy. Well, we don't want to go overboard, but certainly when you compare ourselves to where we had sales down 55% in October, terrible news everywhere. This May was a, was a humdinger, you know, compared to that. You got, we have some numbers uh, to show our viewers, and, and they show that some of the markets that are, have traditionally been strong are, are remaining fairly strong, or at least they were uh, May this year compared to uh, last year. Yeah, not everybody is reporting that, but when we look at Vancouver, Victoria, Vancouver Island, or even Calgary, we see some certainly interesting. Look at sales in Vancouver up 17% over last May, Victoria is up 14%, Calgary 11 Look at Parksville and Couch and Valley up 33% over last year, so that's certainly an increase. And if we look at some of the prices uh, that we've seen, we're still overall down in prices, but not nearly as much as we were. We were up as, as much as 11% down down in April. Now it's six in Vancouver, Victoria only two, Parksville still 14, Couch and Valley and Calgary down 9%. But when you look inside the number, you take for instance a resale condo in Vancouver that's now 380,000. It's still down 8% over last year, but it's up from 355,000 in April. So in one month it jumped some 25% on average. Listings are down uh, as well. Also. Yeah, and they're active listing. Very important. What is still for sale? You look at Victoria's down 13%, Calgary 33%. Uh, and on the new listing, which is the new stuff that's coming in, uh, 33% and 35% for Calgary and Vancouver respectively. And if you look inside the numbers in the condo area, as much as 40% fewer listings come to market than last year at this time. So it all looks like a sign of stabilization. Uh, well, I was just going to ask you that. Looking at these numbers, can I know you probably get asked this all the time. In fact, you probably were asked this <laughs> last week. Uh, so can we say with any any amount of confidence that this is it, we're going to go back up and, and things are going to start looking good again? No, I think we certainly look a lot better. We certainly have more confidence. And what we have is a combination for, say, the 23-year-old to a 35-year-old, many of them, perhaps the majority of them, weren't in the stock market, didn't lose anything. And 93%, even though we have 7% unemployment, 93% are working. And then you add to that a 3.5% five-year term. I've seen as low as 3.4% on a five-year term. Add to that slightly lower prices, and you certainly had a lot of first-time buyers taking advantage of this. I'm not saying it's over. We still may have some sideways move to go, but sure as a, a bright side a sign uh, in, in May. And you're thinking the momentum will continue for the next couple of months? I think it will certainly continue into June. We have, will have our summer slowdown, and September will still be wait and see. All right. Thanks very much, Ozzy. Thanks for having we'll take me. Take a look at how you can contact Ozzy. There's his website, jurek.com. And his email, oz at jerk.com. He's also tweeting or twittering now, twitter.com slash 77 Aussie. And there's his phone number as well.